Okay. Nice. The time has come for another play-in, this time with six players and this time with some even bigger names. We've got Case, Subrath, Richard. We've got Malcolm from Take 3. We've got Brooklyn from Jukebox. And the comic book man himself, Grant Gregory, is here. I am Jim Green, and this is the second Fandom TV play-in for the tournament. And a special co-host here is the Cobra himself, Chance Ellison. Chance, how are you doing tonight? I am doing great, Jim. I, I I literally jumped at the chance to get in and see what Phantom TV was about because uh, I never got a chance to compete in it for well reasons people probably know by now. But uh, either way, this is really exciting. I'm, I'm super happy to be here. And the third man on the desk that won't be asking questions but will be giving us quippy fun stuff is Caleb Coho. Caleb, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm here to uh, keep score and look pretty. So this is going to be a fun match. You're already failing at one of those. You've already failed. Indeed, he has. I know. I, wouldn't, I don't know what the score is. So. so because there is so many competitors, we will skip all the great intros and promos from them and just jump right into round one, which is the standard whiteboard round. Except this time there are 14 <laughs> questions, one from each category of fandom TV. Uh, do the competitors have any questions before we start round one? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get right into it with their first category, which is anime. Anime. In the animated show Yu-Gi-Oh!, what does Pot of Greed do? <laughs> I remember when you first told me about this question, and uh, I didn't know it, and uh, you and your uh, writing partner made jokes about it for the rest of the day. Oh, indeed, indeed. Paul had a good laugh about it. Chance you big fan. sounded like a Paul question. <laughs> uh, I'm not, I'm not, people know I'm not big on anime, but I do, mostly because I like the game. It is Paul's favorite. Really? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's start with uh, Brooklyn Vale. What did you get? It a uh, part of greed. I'm pretty, pretty sure it's a magic card. It allows you to draw three cards. Oh, Ooh. so close! Ah, so close. Card is next again. Uh, Malcolm. Um, me and Brooklyn are on the same page. I also thought it was three cards. Oh man, Malcolm struck by the veil curse. Subrath, what did you get? We can't hear you, Subrath. We can't hear you. <laughs> Okay, he did He did not have it. Subrath, we can't hear you, so work on that But between this and the next question. Grant, what did you get? Draw two cards. Draw two cards! Grant gets it. Uh, Richard, what did you get? Draw two cards. Draw two cards is correct. And Case. Strangely enough, I've actually seen the show. I actually had a guess that's close, but it's not right. I said it makes you get all new cards. No, it is That's not card that. destruction. That is card <laughs> destruction indeed. Chance, why don't you well, give Last time I saw the show question. was like 15 years ago. <laughs> uh, nevertheless, your next question, gentlemen. The category of Doctor Who. What MCU actor portrayed the ninth Doctor? <sighs> oh, Personally, he uh, is my favorite. No, I, I, I hate I the campaign that's so skip nine. Nine's great. You never skip nine. Never I ever like, skip nine. I like, I like nine a bit. I think he was outdone by later doctors. Most, I will Tenet. agree with you. Screw, screw David Tennant, Chance. Screw David Tennant. Hey. <laughs> the man He's the only good yelling guy. Jessica at uh, <laughs> Kristen Ritter. Uh, okay, let's give them five, four, three, two, one. And in reverse order, let's go with Case. Geppetto. Close, 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 but no cigar. Richard. I put David Tennant. David Tennant is incorrect. <laughs> Doctor. Uh, Grant. Nice Christopher Eccleston. Indeed, it uh, is. Right. That is a fantastic answer. Uh, Subrat. <laughs> yeah. He did have it, indeed. Your audio <laughs> still is not working, Subrat. Malcolm. He played Melikov, Christopher Eccleston. Correct. In Brooklyn, Brooklyn, did you have this except for one letter? <laughs> Christopher Eccleston. 
Indeed it is. Indeed it uh, is. A, a lot correct in I that. I mean, technically, he, he had... I find that spelling very interesting, Brooklyn. <laughs> I agree, because you did. Not, Jim, you were right. It says, uh, Eccle, it says Eccleston, not Eccleston. Uh, it, it's... Uh, I would it take it if it's close enough. At the same it's time. close yeah. enough. If the, if the Schmodown is going to accept Geppetto, we will accept that. Uh, mm. Your third question is from Power Rangers. And Uh-oh. it is such. Who portrays Tommy in the entirety of the Power Rangers series? Oh, yes. <sighs> Somewhere, Ryan Permison is having a meltdown. That this was not in his. Our, Chance, would you have known this answer? I would have known this answer. I'm actually a much bigger fan of Power Rangers than anybody would anticipate. I forget you have shown off your pop collection before. Yeah, I got, I got my Green Ranger right here. Five, four, three. Repeat from Brooklyn. Who portrays Tommy in the entirety of the Power Rangers series? And I am right there with you, Chance, except mine is lovely and it's new in the box. I only have the red and yellow rangers, so. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's start with Brooklyn. I'm going to be pissed off whenever I hear it. I guess Frank Jones. Oh, close, close, close. <laughs> Malcolm, what did you get? I just put, damn it, Matthew Coons, because he's told me once before and I've forgotten. It is not, damn it, Matthew Kearns. Uh, Subrath. Jason David, ooh, he put Jason David Franks, and it is Frank. Oh, that's uh, uh, Chance and Caleb, are we gonna accept Franks? No, um, no, no, no sense. That one is. Panel. I think that one is actually integral to the name. So, uh, Grant, did you get Jason David Frank? Frank. Frank. <laughs> Frank uh, Grant hits it again, and Richard, did you get it? Case and David Frank. Indeed, and Case. Oh, I thought it was uh, RJ. Oh, <laughs> so very close. So, so very close. Uh, and let's go back to Chance for their next question. Your next, ca- your next category, gentlemen, the category of BC. Who played Lois Lane in Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman? Fantastic show, in my opinion. Fantastic. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was it was a different take on Superman. Kind of overstates welcome, but nobody can forget oh, the infamous. infamous picture of her on the internet wrapped in the cape that took two years to download. Oh yeah, gotta love that dial-up. Totally worth dial-up it. Dial-up internet, 1990s. Are you old enough for that, Chance? I did have dial-up. Five, four, sure, sure you did. three. Two, one. Case, let's start with you. Well, she did play Lois Lane, but it was not Amy Adams. Not Amy Adams is, uh, it, well, that's right, but it's not the answer we're looking for. Richard. I oh, know. Martha. Uh, so yes, close. So why did you answer. say that name? Uh, Grant, why don't you tell him the right answer? Uh, Terry Hatcher. Terry Hatcher is correct. Grant is perfect. So uh, Subrath. <coughs> Terry Hatcher is correct, and that is spelled correctly, yes. Uh, Malcolm. Terry Hatcher. <laughs> indeed, and Brooklyn, did you get it? It is indeed Terry Hatcher. Terry Hatcher. So, some of us used the internet. Uh, some of us used that internet and wanted that picture for an escape. Uh, your next question comes from the category in which shirt I am wearing, and that is Game of Thrones. I hope you have your HBO subscriptions. How many kingdoms are there in Westeros? Who? I either have uh, your HBO subscription or your friend's HBO Go password. Um, I know for a fact that that is accurate, Chance, because I was the friend that paid for it for two or three years. I feel like the Brooklyn Bale curse face right again. I'm not sure. You're a, you are a true trooper, Jim. I know, I know. 
I, but to be fair, I only pay for it during Game of Thrones time, and then I cancel it the rest. I'm not paying for it all year just for Game of Thrones. Uh, uh, you on. now um, have five, good shows on HBO. four, got some three, good movies on HBO. two, one. Pens <laughs> down. Let's start with Brooklyn. I was torn between four and five, and I said four. No, not even oh, close. Brooklyn's no, curse did not no. hit. Cool. Not cool. We don't get HBO in uh, New Zealand, but is it 12? No, it is not 12. Super F. Seven Kingdoms. Yes, it is indeed seven. Seven Kingdoms. Grant. Seven Kingdoms. Seven Kingdoms for Grant, Still and perfect. now we go to Richard. Seven. Seven for Rich, and Case, are you on the board? Good enough, I'm all seven. <laughs> seven! Case <laughs> is on the board. Hey, I love Game of Thrones. <laughs> It's not wiener, hard to play. Wiener, 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 wiener. <laughs> I love Game of Thrones, but season seven was the worst. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Uh, okay, oh, that's all the <laughs> okay, Chance, <laughs> move, move them on to the next question before we start a war. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Next question, gentlemen. Category of Avatar. Name two of the four nations. And for clarification, not just the elements, but the actual name of the country. Oh. See, I would have only been able to give you elements. Yes, I'm. I would be saddened if they couldn't just name four elements, a uh, two of four elements. But yes, you need the actual name of the country. We'll give you a little bit of extra time on this one. I can't say like a city. No. Damn it. If you were, uh, Five, if you were uh, one of the four, four a repeat, one please. A repeat from Grant. Uh, chances on the phone, so I will repeat it for you. Uh, name two of the four nations in Avatar. Chance talking to Harloff, and uh, if you could, uh, if you could, uh, he's, he, chances the, uh, on the the sidebar with uh, Kalinowski and uh, Kylo Ken. <laughs> Uh, you yeah. will be back shortly. Uh, if you could uh, bend one of the four elements, what would you uh, pick? Um, I always fancied uh, myself in uh, a fire, a firebender, uh, I because I'm being evil. a water. Uh, five, four, water. three, two, one. Let's start with Case. Uh, I I don't know the actual name, so my guess is for the Water Tribe and the Fire Nation. That is correct. That is exactly oh. what we were looking for. Uh, Richard. I, th I thought you said we couldn't use the elements. Uh, uh, I put no, one it was like Central City. Okay, I'm, yeah, I should yes. challenge that because like, you said elements. <laughs> I, I, yes. Um, he didn't Grant's... want just the elements is what he said. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that was the thing. You didn't want just the elements and like all... That, like it's element plus a name and then you have to country. Yes, so. that's exactly Okay. Grant. Okay. I had Earth Kingdom and Fire Nation. Correct. Grant is still perfect. Uh, Subrath. Hold on. Fire Nation and the Water Tribe. Correct. Uh, Malcolm. Um, I just put Iceland and Earthland. Uh, close, sort of. Uh, Brooklyn, did you get it? I, I didn't realize it was that simple, or I also would have been a half guess. I had a joke answer. I said knob gobblers and fuck fuckers. Uh, no, no, <laughs> correct. Uh, the four nations in Avatar are the Air Nomads, Earth Kingdom, Water Tribe, and the Fire Nation. Um, Koho, why don't you go ahead and give them their next question? Uh, with pleasure. All right, gentlemen, your next question comes from the world of The Simpsons. Ooh, here we go. What is the name of the bus driver in The Simpsons? Brooklyn's all over that. I know it. Go with the full name? Yes, uh, it yes. has his first oh. and last name. Uh, oh. so, sorry, I had to uh, take care of that. That's important business I had to take care of real quick. Uh, we know uh, Kylo Ken and Cal now yes, talking to you. Yes, right. we, we, gave, we gave the audience uh, some information on what you were doing. Oh my god. A lot of discussion Bro. of your strengths. We know it happens. Um, <laughs> so you definitely want the last name as well? Yes. Yep. First and last name of the Simpsons bus driver. It's, it's, it's not five, that complicated. Four, three, two. Repeat the question. Repeat the question. Ooh. Second repeat for Brooklyn. Second repeat. Second repeat. That's interesting. 
Coho, that was your question. I am aware. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of the bus driver? <laughs> what is the name of the bus driver in The Simpsons? This is why Jim and I are the best uh, hosts on the internet. <laughs> I'm okay. <offended. laughs> uh, you have five, four. Case, you're a very three, close third. <laughs> two, one. We started with Case last time. Let's jump back to Brooklyn. I, I blanked on the last name. Otto Van Otto? No. <clears throat> no. no, you went a little too complicated. Uh, Malcolm. It's Otto Man. Indeed, it is. Otto Man. Uh, Subra. We can't see it. Uh, headphones guy. Oh, uh, he was headphones guy. Yes, he was headphones uh, guy. That's Grant. Nice. Grant, are you still perfect? Otto man. I could. I thought it was man, but I, I just wrote it down. Oh, he Otto, caught it. Otto yeah. man is correct. Richard. Grant is still I put, perfect. I put auto driver. Uh, <laughs> nope. Close. Close case. Did you have this one? I don't like The Simpsons, so I just quoted a movie that I do like. No, no, I killed the bus driver. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and a solid impression too. Um, um, Chance, go ahead and give them their next question. I will. In the category of the band of my existence, I'm sorry, Star Trek. What year did Star Trek: The Next Generation debut? I would have gotten this one if I were. Yes, uh, we gave uh, you a release date uh, question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> that I actually like. I really like Next Generation. Hot take. I think Next Generation is better than the original series. That's not a hot take. That's that's the truth. Yeah, that's, that, that's, 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 that's just fact. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. the widely accepted. That's the widely oh. accepted truth. I've gotten yelled at for it in the past, so uh, I don't the know. Gotta love movie. that Jean Luc Picard. He's coming you back to the five to, to the Jean Luc Picard sequel series. Three, two, one. Uh, we start with Case this time. 1987 is. Correct. Um, Richard, did you have 1987? I said 89. Ooh, so close. Great. Do, do you stay perfect, my friend? 1987 to 1994 it went for. Oh, oh dang. Gave us the full release. Going his muscle today. Subra. 1987. Question is, did Brooklyn go one year over or under? Let's find I, out. I was way, I was way <laughs> off. I said, I, I said, I said 91 and then changed it. And then I'm like, fuck, I'm way off now. I said 1980. So. Oh, okay. uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn went with 1980. Uh, Malcolm, what did you, what did you um, get? I had the right numbers in the wrong order. I put 1978. Oof. Oh, no, <laughs> Patrick Stewart, idea. not that old. Not that old. No, uh, now your next question, which is a layout. Please, all of you get it. Uh, it comes from the category of animated heroes. Tara Strong voices who in the Teen Titans universe? I've this is not actually a just started rewatching the series. My bad. I not, forgot what the I, all I saw the me. I saw the the answer and I thought it was a layup. My bad, guys. But I'm um, still you sure should probably know this. It should it should it should be a layup for the Americans or the young Americans. For the yes. think, you know yeah. the, the, the millennials in the crowd. That's me, of course. And Anyone Caleb who too, has I ever guess. said that chick that voices uh, so and so but does that like too voices a yes. lot. Oh, oh, one yeah. piece. Repeat Subrath. from Subrath. Oh, thanks, Subrath. Subrath. Oh, one. <laughs> Subrath, your repeated question is: Terra Strong voices who in the Teen Titans universe? It's probably one of my favorite anime yes. series. I, I really love this show. <sighs> Uh, and you can see the post credit scene for Teen Titans Go. Uh, I did. I did. Hashtag Titans looks real bad, dude. Sorry. Titans look so bad, dude. Titans look so bad, dude. Titans does look bad. Five, so four, bad. Hashtag fuck that man. So. <gasps> Two, one. Uh, this time we start with Brooklyn. Raven. Raven is correct. Uh, <laughs> Malcolm. Did you have I'm Raven? Glad I watched, I'm glad I watched the Watch Mojo video about who it's Raven. Raven indeed. Subrat, did you have Raven? Slade, no, no. Ooh, uh, Grant. 100% pure guess, Raven. He's no. still perfect. Wow. He's still Ooh, perfect. Nine points for Grant. 
Richard. I said Starfire. Oh, Star wrong one. 50-50. Uh, Case. No. no. Uh, <laughs> Case what is, uh, let's, no let's, let's see your answer. Let's see your answer. He said Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> He didn't have oh, it. So he literally wrote nothing down. Uh, okay, so the next question will be brought to you by the Cobra himself. Chance Ellis. Of course, of course. Category of South Park. Who created South Park? This I might be a little more of a layup. <laughs> I, I actually would have gotten this one without ever having seen an episode I, of South I need, Park uh, because of the book just of to, Just to elaborate, uh, it is two names. There's two people. Is two, yeah, yeah. It is two people. Now, thank you for asking a question of my favorite show ever. <laughs> South Park, favorite show ever. <laughs> yeah. We already asked the Teen yeah. Titans Go question, Case. I'm still waiting for people to questions. South Park is my favorite show. Even more favorite than Game of Thrones. Five and more favorite than Star Wars. Four, my favorite three, episode of South two, Park is The Book of Mormon. One. Um, this time we start with Case. Matt Stone and Trey Parker. Indeed it is. Uh, Richard. Matt Stone and Trey Parker. Correct. Uh, ba -ba -ba Grant. Matt Stone, Trey Parker. Perfect. Uh, breath <laughs> Nope, Subrath did not have it. Uh, Malcolm. I've never seen the episode, but I know it's some um, Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Indeed, and Brooklyn. Fuck, I thought I had it in the wrong order. I said Trey Parker and Matt Stone. We would have accepted them in any order, but yes, that is the I, answer. I would have only accepted Trey Parker first. I was about uh, to say Matt Parker, Trey Stone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. um, let's uh, let's throw it throw it up uh, over to Coho. Coho, why don't you ask him another question? Yeah, I get to come off the bench. All right, your next question comes from the world of Netflix Marvel. What Netflix Marvel show debuted first? Bit of a layup, I think. Um, Abyss. One of my favorite seasons of television the year it came out. I agree. I agree. First season. Yeah, it was probably the best thing I've seen in a long time. It made me actually like the character again. <laughs> okay. Grant giving out hints now. He's that, so confident. That's, that's, kind, uh, that's kind of a hint. Yeah. Uh, you have five, four, three, two, one, Brooklyn. <laughs> Daredevil season one. Daredevil is correct. Malcolm. Season 3 is coming out this year. It's Daredevil. Indeed it is. Uh, Subrath. Daredevil, yes. Uh, Grant. Uh, Grant. Daredevil. <laughs> coming out 2015. Uh, Richard. Marvel's Daredevil. Oh, Rich getting a little sassy. Uh, <laughs> and Ace, the did you That's the full title. Wait. That's true. <laughs> Should challenge Rich. Better, than, better than, should. than Ben Affleck, Daredevil. Daredevil. Uh, the first I was very question confident. they all got. The first question that they I was all very got. Very confident Case was going to write down Iron Fist. Uh, your next Not question. Lion Devil. Your Daredevil. next question comes from Star Wars TV. Uh oh. Who is Ezra's teacher in Star Wars Rebels? Case, very excited over there. Case is very excited. Grant, less excited. Uh, Grant is perfect with 11 so far. Can he make it perfect in the first round? I think there was a question similar to this asked in one of the Intergecta matches in the Schmodan recently. No, that wouldn't be possible. That, that, yeah. They wouldn't ask this question. Uh, this okay. question can't be asked in Intergecta. <laughs> this, this is not nowhere in the movies, anywhere. <laughs> Oh, okay. uh, and we will trust Case because he is Case. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one, and guess who we get to start with this time? Case. Kanan Jarrus, aka Caleb Doom. Uh, we just had Kanan, but sure, we're going to take all of that. Uh, Richard. No, I said Luke Skywalker. <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, oh. Grant is your perfect run over. It's gone. I had Anakin Skywalker. Oh, oh no! Oh, the, Russian oh, cut. the Russian has been cut. Good job, Grant. Going perfect through almost the entirety of round one. Subrath, were you able to pull it? <laughs> no, no, says Subrath. Malcolm. Kane and Jarvis. Malcolm gets it, and Brooklyn. 
I am very sad to inform the entire panel that we are back to zero days with talk without talking about Star Wars. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, and your uh, pen ultimate question for round one will be administered by the Cobra. Chance. Okay, your next question, gentlemen, is category of the Arrowverse. How did Oliver Queen get stranded on Lian Yu? I can honestly say I have uh, never seen an episode of Arrowverse. Really? Like any of it? Yeah. Wow. How specific do you want it? Uh, it doesn't seem super uh, specific. That's super complicated. I would say something right now, but uh, it would completely give it away for the Americans in the room. Um, oh. We got five, four, three, two, one. Ends down and Brooklyn. It's a plane crash, isn't it? No. Oh, it, no. It is not Malcolm. Um, his father's boat crashed. Yes, shipwreck, yeah, shipwreck is, is yes. shipwreck. Oh. Super. Yeah. Shipwrecked, indeed. Uh, Grant. His father's boat, the Queen Gambit, crashed slash sunk. Yep, yep, we'll take all of that. Richard? Queen's Gambit blew up and Oliver survived on a raft. After his father killed someone and then himself. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, Case? White. Yes, white is correct as well. Uh, white, okay. white people got on the island. Oh, whitewash. Very meta. I like it. Yeah. Uh, your <laughs> final question will be given to you by Caleb Coho. Caleb, why don't you go ahead and throw out another question for him? Yay, your last question comes from the world of Marvel. What is the name of the government agency that hunts mutants in Legion Season 1? Oh, my God. Why did I put this as my strength? <laughs> <laughs> Just Grant because you love Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. doesn't mean these question writers do, Grant. <laughs> Five, four, three... I repeat the question. A repeat Malcolm from first. Malcolm. Repeat from Malcolm. Coho. All right. <laughs> My internet froze. What is the name of the government agency that hunts mutants in Legion Season 1? I went to the Chance Ellison School of Internet uh, Connection. <laughs> also, uh, also a professor at uh, said uh, school is uh, Jen Kemp. Jen Kemp. That is very true. Five, four, three... Two, one. Let's start with uh, Case. Jane Fonda. Very close. Very close. Uh, Richard. U.S. government. I have no idea. Uh, Grant. <laughs> was it Drake? No, it was. Oof. Grant misses another one. Uh, Subrath. Subrath has nothing. Um, Malcolm. Is it the John Lovegood situation? Yeah. It is not. And Brooklyn, wrap us up in round one. I just said government X. Oh, it God. Is not co no, it. We were Grant. looking for Division 3. Division 3. Oh, Division yes. Three. Indeed. Um, so after a very eventful round one that saw a Russian cut at the end, let us tabulate the scores. I've got Grant in the lead with one 12. Second. One second, sir. I'm erasing all of this. That's fine. Yeah. I'm, just making, I'm just letting you know what I got. Okay, go for it. I've got Grant in the lead with 12. Malcolm right behind him with 8. Um, a three-way tie behind him with Case, Richard, and Subrath all with 6. And Brooklyn in last with 5. Yep, that is what I have. Chance, are you keeping score? Are you just here to see to stay pretty? Uh, I'm just here to say pretty. So that's what we thought. Uh, okay, so with that, we will it go was to his round. Lips, two, not his brain that got him on the showdown. Which is, <laughs> which is your strengths round, which the competitors all gave us three different categories to get two questions in uh, strength of their choosing, <laughs> and 
and uh, in this round, correct answers will be worth two points. Wrong answers will be worth uh, minus one. And the um, there are steals in this round. There is no penalty for an incorrect steal. Um, the person in the lead gets the option to take their questions now, or do you want to defer? I'm going to defer. Deferring to second place, which is Malcolm. Um, I'll defer. Deferring to... Um, Case Richard and Subrath. Who do you want to go with? Case Richard and Subrath. Let's just get a quarter and... Can I, uh, can I just go first? <laughs> Case, Case volunteers. He wants to go first. Case, do you want your go questions for first? That's fine. I'm fine with that. Volunteering for tribute. Go for it. Go for it, Case. We will go ahead and give you your questions first. And they will be administered to you by Cobra Chance. All right, Case. Your category you selected for your strength is Star Wars. So, what else? Your first question. In Star Wars, the Clone Wars, what is Asajj Ventress's home world? That's a mirror. That is, that is correct. correct. Your second question in Star Wars. In Star Wars Rebels, who was Kanan's old Jedi Master? Depa Balaba. Two more points. Is he even saying words? <laughs> I don't, I'm not yeah. sure. No, I am. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, I, I couldn't click over quick enough between those. Um, Grant, you want to you wanna defer again? Uh, Richard, do you want to defer? Uh, I'll go. Uh, Richard going with Arrowverse. Oh, I'm sorry. Malcolm, did you want to go, or do you want to defer to Richard, who is going to go? Um, I'll go. <laughs> oh, okay, Malcolm is, gonna, so Malcolm is going to go, and Malcolm, you both selected Arrowverse as a strength. So, uh, we will give you, um, do you want group one or group two questions? Uh, group one. Group one. So, uh, Koho, why don't you give him those questions? And group one is the top ones, the top two. That's what well, I assume. All right. Why does he get to decide? Because <laughs> he has more points. He has more points. Oh, all that's right. racist. All right. Cover time. Malcolm, your Arrowverse questions are your first question. Which eye of Slade's did Oliver stick an arrow in during their fight aboard the ship of Dr. Ivo's? The left eye? It was the right eye. Incorrect. And Coho, you Your don't final need the question. right answer because there are steals available. I Coho. stupid. I mean, there was only uh, okay. <laughs> one. This, this, this is a special circumstance because there's only two eyes. So yeah. literally everybody will get the steal That's what on I figured. that. Coho, please do not say the answer if he gets it. I will it. not. But again, 50 50. So, uh, everyone gets two. Yes, everyone will get credit for the studio on nice. that. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, uh, everyone, got everyone point, right? uh, quickly, uh, does everyone know their left from their right? They do? Okay, good. Then yes, everyone gets a uh, gets the two points. Skills are worth two points. Skills are worth two points. Nice. Right, okay. Wonderful. All right, so your last question, Malcolm and Arrowverse. What is the full Earth name of the Kryptonian world killer, Rain? Uh, it's, um, I know it's a myth, but I do not know the last name, so I lose another point. Malcolm comes up short. He does not know it. Uh, you guys have 10 seconds to write down answers. Five, four, three, two, one. Brooklyn, do you have, do you have a guess? Crypto the super dog. No. Uh, awesome. Subrath. Subrath, no for Subrath. Grant. I thought after that part, so I just went, Rain, the world killer. Because I don't know, it's in the comics. Uh, no, that is incorrect. Uh, Richard, did you know it? I just got her first name, Samantha. So we needed the last name. Uh, yeah. Case. 
Oh, I'm an idiot. Blank. That's right. Okay. Arius. Damn it. Air Grant, yes, it was Arius. <laughs> it was Arius. Uh, Richard, would you... Uh, so after that, uh, Malcolm missing both of his questions there. So uh, tough, tough going there. Um, strengths can come back to bite you. Uh, Richard, would you like your questions next or defer to Subra? I'll go. Richard will go. And I will be administering your two Arrowverse questions. Um, the first of which is, what character said the following quote? There are no strings on me right before they die in a sacrifice move. Do you want the, the just the code name? Captain Cold? Captain, we can't, we can accept Captain Cold or Leonard Snart, but you decided to be sassy and give us both. Uh, okay, so your next question. What prison is Oliver locked up in to serve his time for crimes of being a vigilante? Wait, I didn't. Um, can you repeat the question? Uh, you cut out. Oh, uh, that technical repeat, we won't charge him. Uh, what prison is Oliver locked up in to serve his time for crimes of vigilantism? Vigilantism. Ooh. Supermax? Uh, Supermax is incorrect. Uh, we'll give you guys the 15 because you did kind of answer that quickly. So take a moment to think that out. And I just watched it too. That's embarrassing. <laughs> it uh, is a maximum security prison, but I, it has a specific name. Uh, five, four, three, two, and one, Brooklyn. Arkham Asylum. No idea. No. Uh, Malcolm. I've got no idea. I also thought it was um, Supermax. Uh, Superath. Iron Heights. But I didn't write it down because I'm, I'm outside. Oh, uh, no. That is not correct, whatever you just said. Uh, Grant. Is it Blackgate? No, it is not Blackgate. Uh, Case. I went with the same guess that Brooklyn had Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Uh, no, it was Slabside Maximum Security Prison. Slabside. Because secretly we're all 10 years old, right? Um, the next person who can elect to go is uh, Subrath. Would you like your avatar questions? Yeah, sure. Give, give up. Okay, uh, Chance, why don't you ask these avatar questions as developed by the one and only Paolo Yama, your BFF? Uh, oh, I'm right. sorry, second BFF after, of course, that guy that we know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, that guy that we know, and then Paul. Uh, so, Brad, your first question the category of avatar. What is the name of Bolin's pet fire ferret? Repeat the question. Okay, we'll charge repeat. What is the name of Bolin's pet fire ferret? Can I have the uh, multiple choice? Or is there is it... no multiple There's choice. There's no multiple choice. No multiple choice, okay. I have no idea. No right, idea so from Sue Brath. That is minus one point. Let's give everyone 10 seconds. <laughs> I had a fat, I had a ferret, but I, it wasn't a fire ferret. Would have been awesome. Uh, five, four, three, two, and one. Brooklyn with a giggle. <laughs> fire crunch. <laughs> no. Malcolm. Brooklyn is actually 12 years old. <laughs> is it fire in the hole? Okay. It is not fire in the hole. 12 year olds. Grant. <laughs> Couldn't remember if it was Epper or Sucker, so I went with Epper. No. 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 You were thinking of the wrong pets. Uh, okay. Richard. I said Kiki. No. Uh, and last but not least, Case. I couldn't remember it. I just said Explosion Man. <laughs> Incorrect. Chance, you want to tell them what it was? The answer we're looking for is Pabu. 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 Oh, Pabu. And Case, we would have accepted your answer if you went with Sparky, Sparky, Boom, Man. So. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Just proving that Case right. is eight and the rest of us are twelve. Your next, your next question, Sabrath. 
What bending technique did Zuko's Uncle Iroh invent? The lightning technique? Um, Be more specific. Lightning technique. More specific? Um, How specific do you want it to be? Like, so he puts lightning through, I mean, uh, how to uh, repel lightning? Okay, yeah, I think we, yeah, we can take that. We can take that That's one. It was redirect, it was redirect, redirect lightning. We just needed redirect. some sort of direction. It was something with moving the direction of the yeah, lightning. It, 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 yes. it, it, that's what it basically <laughs> is. We just wanted, we needed more something because lightning bending is a different type of thing. Um, so that leaves us with, I believe. Did I get the point? Did, did I get yes, point? yes, that yeah, was correct. We were going to take, we take that, Supra. That leaves the one and only Black Lantern himself, Brooklyn Vale, to receive his questions, which he chose from The Simpsons. Uh, and, of course, our wonderful Tim wrote this, so it does not make sense, so I will rephrase it for you. <laughs> what is the full address of The Simpsons? Uh, 34 Evergreen Terrace. That is incorrect. Incorrect. Uh, everyone ah, everyone else. Part of, it, part of it wrong. Brooklyn in those numbers. Uh, everyone else, you have 10 seconds. What did he say again? He said 34 Evergreen Terrace. Uh, my pen ran out kind of halfway through this. Just rub on it really hard. That's what she said. Um... <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. I am also twelve years old. Uh, Malcolm, what did you get? Seven forty two Evergreen Terrace. That is correct. That is correct. Um uh, next is Subrath. I did not get it. Uh Grant. Seven forty two Evergreen Terrace. That is correct. Uh, and Richard. Uh, I didn't get it. Uh, Case, did you get that? No, definitely not. Definitely not, says uh, Case. I was, um, thinking, I was thinking 34 Spooner Street from Family Guy, and Family Guy should definitely be a category fan of TV. Uh, I will fight tooth and nail for that. Uh, Brooklyn, your Maybe. second, your last question for your strength of the Simpsons. What is the full name of Bart's fourth grade elementary teacher? Uh, and the Krabappel. That is correct. For two more points. And that actually leaves us... I for, How could we forget the guy that was so far in the lead? There's only one left, and it is Grant Gregory. Uh, Chance, how about you go ahead and give Grant his questions? Chance. Oh man! Yeah. Sorry, I thought you were Yes, yes. You will finish us up with uh, Grant's questions here. Right. Sorry. Sorry. All right. Here we go. Grant, you select the category of non-Netflix Marvel. That's, that's right. Right. Non-Netflix yes. Marvel. Yes. All right. Grant, your first question: What is the name of Black Bolt's father in Inhumans? Um. <laughs> I do not blame you. This show was bad. Five, four, Just three, like tight. two, three, pay, one. Please. Okay. Your question. What is the name of Black Bolt's father in Inhumans? Five, four, three. Um, black, black and car. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> the black and car is incorrect. So yeah. uh, everyone's getting a chance for Steve. Yeah. Ooh, I almost said it out loud. I am sorry for that. <laughs> I didn't at least pull a coho. Hey, uh, at least my question was pretty soft. 
explanatory right answer. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Brooklyn, did you have any idea? I tried to write it big letters. Uh, Galactus. Uh, <laughs> no, but it will be in the MCU soon. Uh, Malcolm. Who knows and cares? <laughs> uh, uh, That's really answer. Subraft? I have no idea. It's the best show on Earth. Uh, oh, Richard. Oh, I'm an idiot. I said King Zeus. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Incorrect. Uh, Case. I said White Bolt. No. White Bolt. Uh, Grant, did you remember it? Is it Aegon? Yes, it, it is. It is Aegon. Aegon the Conqueror? Uh, close Good. enough, but spelled wrong. My, it's missing an E. Just like that show is Aegon now. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and for good reason, because Scott Buck is awful. So, uh, <laughs> your next question. Uh, what is an 084 in the Marvel TV universe? Oh, um... Oh, uh, shit. Spence is killing me. An object of undetermined origin? That's correct. Well, that is correct. Yeah. That is correct, and that is the last question. And we just need to now tabulate the scores to determine who got Five. second, because clearly the winner is Grant Gregory. Which, if he had gotten that wrong, he wouldn't have been the winner. Because second, oh. place, second place with 12 points is the Grand Admiral Case Cornelese. Uh, right behind him with, uh, well, but behind him with a tie for third place is uh, Richard Schwartz and Subhash Sharma, both with nine points. And uh, right behind them, tied for last, is Malcolm and Brooklyn, each with eight points apiece. Indeed, indeed. That was a long and crazy match which a very high scoring compared to the previous match which saw our co-host Caleb Coho in um so yeah uh let's get the uh the Cobra's uh, uh opinions on it a uh, chance what did you think of this match ooh F phantom tv is no joke man these guys and these guys they they know their stuff i mean those those strengths round they demonstrated that their strength for a reason, like Case especially, like, to be uh, in that position for the entire match and then to come back like that. You, he did really great, but uh, hats off to Grant. Uh, the dude knows his stuff, but I can't wait to see what else he does with Phantom TV. Right, and Coho, uh, what did you think of this match? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, some A dominant performance from Grant, uh, uh, who I'm excited to see in the tournament. Uh, a uh, really solid comeback by Case. Uh, and uh, the, all these guys know their stuff, and I'm excited to hopefully play some of them in the tournament, if I'm right. And let's go over to our winner, Grant Gregory. How are you feeling after a very dominating performance here? Oh, I'm feeling pretty happy. I feel like uh, I definitely have to change my strength because I don't know what I was thinking when when I put down non -mile. I should have just said Agents of Shield or something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, if it wasn't for the Agents of Shield question, I uh, yeah, I would have been in trouble. Right, and uh, so pending somebody going off in the second play, and you will most likely be the highest ranked winner out of them. So, how are you feeling going into the tournament? Oh yeah, I'm I'm just excited to play. Um, if if, if I go in at first, then you know everyone's going to be after me, and all I can do is go down or win. So. Yeah, it is what it is. Oh, right, right. Uh, and so, as to keep time, we'll save the. We'll go with the last interview of the night, and that is to the second place finisher, uh, Case. Case, uh, you weren't very confident coming in, but uh, you ended up getting second, and after a very strong uh, round two, I believe it is. Uh, so far, the only you were the only person so far in the plans to get both of your strengths and get a steal. Um, so, a pretty impressive round two from you, Case. Uh, so, how do you feel going into the uh, going into the tournament? Uh, I'm kind of nervous because, like, 
I, I know what I know. Uh, like, I, I definitely know, like, Game of Thrones, Star Wars, and a couple of shows uh, that I've seen. Uh, but then you get, like, a couple of other shows that I have, have not seen and I will not know a single thing about. So this kind of puts me on a spot, and I don't want to be in that spot. But we'll see how, uh, how it goes. <laughs> Right. Uh, so, yeah, after after those interviews, they seem ready to go. Uh, and I think it's time for us to depart, everyone. So just let's do a quick run through uh, with starting with Grant. Where can the people watching find you on this vastness of the Internet? Uh, you can find me on my channel, The Comic Book Lad or Mr. Grant Gregory um, or The Comic Book uh, League. Uh, Case, what about you? You can find me uh, hosting Worldwide Movie Trivia uh, on the Worldwide Movie Games Network and um, at Dutch Movie Guy on Twitter. Uh, and to Richard. You can find me on Facebook under Richard Schwartz, YouTube under External Void, Jack of All Trivia, Multiplex, and the Comic Book League. Uh, Superbat seems to have disappeared, so let's go to Malcolm. Um, you can find me on Take Free Productions, where I host a show called Rankum, and you can also find me on. Uh, Twitter letterbox and start us at Mel uh, at Melkor. Lastly, but not least, we of the competitors, uh, uh, Brooklyn. Uh, take three productions, uh, late night take three. Uh, we go live, box trivia. We go live usually most Mondays, but I'm actually recording a match right after this. So. Awesome. Uh, Subrath reappeared. Subrath, where can they find you? Well, you guys can find me in uh, the movie Valcom. We just had the really rejects match, and you guys can check that out. Oh, well, yeah, I heard about that on Action Movie Anatomy, the real Rejects being on Movie Battlegrounds. Uh, that was very a very good match. Uh, Coho. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Coho. That is K-A-L-E-B-K-O-H-O. You can find me on YouTube, Caleb Coho, where I do music and vlogs and stuff. Coho Productions, where I do film. Uh, right now, you can find my movie, Chick Part Do It, on Caleb Coho and Coho Productions right now on YouTube. Uh, you can find my album, Shoot for Teams, with my group, The Forks, on all digital stores and streamers, iTunes, uh, Spotify, wherever you consume your digital music. You can also find me right here on Multiplex Entertainment hosting Fandom Fights with Kane McMillan, uh, singles and teams and competing in them. You can also find me, Kane, and Jake hosting Let's Make a Movie, a show where you guys help us build criteria to make a short film. And you can find me and Tim Smith hosting Multiplex's Fantasy Football every Wednesday right, there, or right here on Multiplex Entertainment, which will be starting on uh, August 24th. And to my wonderful co-host, who needs no introduction or outroduction, but we're going to give him one anyway, Chance. Uh, yeah, you could find me on Twitter and Instagram at ChanceWars underscore 91. You can follow my YouTube channel, Chance the Critic. Uh, check out my podcast I do with my buddy Russell Howell, Notorious by Chance. And uh, any other big things I'm doing later? I, I, I think. Uh, I'm I think... sure. <laughs> this little thing called Anarchy, yeah, I think. I don't yeah, yeah. Just watch for, uh, you know, watch for Alpha Much Moto on debut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know that. And, just and, that... We, and, and it's, it's real this time. It's not like Tim sp spreading rumors. This is this is actually happening now. Uh, yeah. Just you know, just he's gonna be in a KO in somebody with that KO guy with that Kylo Ken. And lastly, uh, but there's but leastly, uh, I am your host, Jim Green. I run the TV division for fandom and TV, and you can find me co-hosting, hosting all of these matches and helping co-ho co-host some other matches and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, so for me, Cobra, Coho, and all the competitors, that's it. We are out. See ya.